Hello everyone, welcome back to Stud I. Today we are going to learn that how can you find the prescription or how you can calculate the prescription from the retinocross. As you all know that retinoscope is the instrument and retinoscopy is the procedure or an objective procedure by which you can evaluate the refractive error of the patient, right? So in this procedure you don't need the active participation of the patient and you can tell that how much number patient requires in order to correct his refractive error so for that we want to find the prescription for the correction of the refractive error we need a prescription according to that prescription patient can use the glasses so it can either be a sapphire or it can either be a cylinder while you are performing the retinoscopy the first step is that you have to make a cross right so you will check the uh, meridians like you have to check the 90 degree meridian horizontal and vertical meridians both should be checked so 90 and 180 meridians should be checked mostly and commonly we check these two meridians and we correct these meridians we neutralize these meridians so our principle is that you have to neutralize both the meridians and according to that you write the values so for example you op you get a case that a patient comes to you and while you have been doing the retinoscopy you came to know that in the horizontal meridian or in the 180 degree what is happening that patient gets neutralized with the plus 5 spherical lens and the 90 degree was or the vertical meridian was neutralized by the plus 3 spherical lens so these are the lenses at which the meridians got neutralized so you are can't say that these are the powers that we have to prescribe to the patient right you should be very careful while giving the prescription to the patient the lenses that you have used for the neutralization are not the power or are not the uh, lenses you have to prescribe to the patient right these are the values that at these lenses patient is neutralized but you have to convert these values into the prescription form or into the power form that this much sapphire and this much cylinder is required for the patient in order to correct the refractive error right so over here you made a cross while you were doing the retinoscopy you have made a cross so first step is that after neutralization you have to make this type of cross while you have been checking the horizontal meridian the streak will be vertical so the retinoscopy light light streak should be vertical and it should be moving in a horizontal manner so this is a something vertical line and if you will move it from right to left this is checking the horizontal meridian but while you are checking the vertical meridian the retinoscopy streak should be horizontal right so now the light streak in the retina should be horizontally placed and the meridian you are checking is 90 degree so now you have to move it up and down for in order to check the 90 degree meridian so how you are going to perform retino is something else so our first step was that you got a cross by neutralizing the meridians right it can be any meridian right where patient has some power right or wherever the patient has a refractive error that will be the meridian of the patients so the distance ideally on which we perform the retinoscopy is 67 centimeter which is the distance at which you are performing the retinoscopy is the working distance the distance can be varied in for every patient as you have to keep an arm length right so if you can't measure the exact 67 centimeter you can perform the retino at arm length and you have to measure the arm distance at how much is your arm length in centimeters and then later you have to convert it into the dioptric value so now you have to convert the the working distance you got in centimeter into the dioptric value with the help of this formula which states that d equals to 1 over f in meters so f in meter mean that the distance you have been working on should be in meters right so i have 
place the value of centi as you all know the centi is a prefix so centi has a value 10 raised to power minus 2 when you will convert this minus 2 uh, so what will happen that it will be 100 right in the denominator so this is some mathematical ex expression and i don't think so that i have to explain it so after converting the centimeter into the meters you have obtained working distance equals to 67 over 100 meter now you have to place this value of the working distance which was another term which is f right you have to place in this formula and you can obtain the dioptric value so d equals to 1 over f will be now change into d equals to 1 over 67 divided by 100 meter which was the value of working distance so i have placed this value into the formula over here right now one this is basically 1 divided by 67 by 100 so i have converted division into the multiplication it's all about mathematical expression you can calculate it in the uh, calculator and uh, in, in either of the way which is very easiest for you you have to just convert the centimeter into the meters and then you have to put the values into the formula which is d uh, d equals to 1 over f right so you obtain the working distance in diopter which is plus 1.50 diopter so at 67 centimeter the working distance in the diopter is plus 1.50 now what you have to do is now this is something very important the first step is that after drawing the cross you should know what is the working distance right you have to convert the working distance into diopters and later you have to subtract the working distance from both meridians you have been neutralizing right so over here we got plus 3 at 90 and plus 5 at 180 you have to subtract the working the distance from both of the meridians so what we will obtain is that plus 3 was at 90 degree right and plus 5 is at 180 degree so i have subtracted the working distance separately so that you may understand very clearly i have subtracted working distance from both of these values and i have obtained plus 1.5 at 90 degree in place of plus 3 and plus 3.50 at 180 degree in place of plus 5 so i am making a cross again where i was having the plus 3 i have placed plus 1.5 and where was plus 5 i have placed there plus 3.50 now this is a new cross which you can use and now the steps are very easy what you have to do is that consider any of these value as first and second so i am taking the smallest value as first and i am taking the second value as uh, the other value as second value right so you can take any of them it's up to you so now after choosing what you have to do is that consider the first value as a spherical power so i have taken the first value which was plus 1.50 i have made it a spherical power that our spherical power is plus 1.50 diopter sphere so i got a sphere for my prescription now i have to find the cylinder for the value of the cylindrical power what you have to do is that you have to subtract the second value with the first value right so what you are going to do over here is that you have to subtract the second value which is plus 3.50 with the first value which is plus 1.50 and you will obtain the new cylinder or you will obtain the cylindrical power which is plus 2.0 the after cylinder right so the sphere was plus 1.50 and the cylinder is plus 2 diopter so now we are going to place it into the prescription that how the prescription is mentioned or how we used to write the prescription is the format is that first is sphere then we use a slash cylinder and uh, it's a cross or you can uh, write just and add the date x for the uh, for mentioning the axis so over here sphere was plus 1.50 and the cylinder was after subtracting both of these so i have obtained plus 2 now axis is very important axis used with the cylindrical power should be the axis of the sphere you have chosen right so i have taken the sphere as plus 1.50 and the axis of 1.50 is 90 degrees so the axis will be 90 for this cylinder right so it means that 
द सिलेंडर इज नाइन्टी डिग्री अ पार्ट दैट मीन्स द पावर मेरीडियन इज वन एटी बट द एक्सिस मेरीडियन ऑफ दिस सेल इज एट नाइन्टी सो फॉर योर रिमेम्बरेंस इन द इजिएस्ट वे आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट यू हैव टू यूज द एक्सिस ऑफ द पावर विच यू हैव टेकन एज द सफेरिकल पावर राइट सो आई हैव चूज इन द सफेयर प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो दैट इज वाई आई एम यूजिंग द सफेयर सफेरिकल एक्सिस विच इज नाइन्टी डिग्री इफ आई हैव टेकन प्लस थ्री पॉइंट फाइव जीरो एज सफेयर देन वट वुड माई चॉइस ऑफ द एक्सिस वुड बी दैट आई हैव टू टेक द एक्सिस ऑफ द सफेयर सो इफ आई हैड टेकन प्लस थ्री पॉइंट फाइव जीरो एज सफेयर माई एक्सिस वुड बी वन एटी फोर दिस सिलेंड्रिकल पावर राइट ओके सो इट्स अ की पॉइंट दैट यू हैव टू टेक द एक्सिस ऑफ द सफेयर always right so this is how you can convert the cross into the prescription so you have obtained a cross which was okay so our cross was basically this you have neutralized the axis at plus 3 and plus 5 but your final prescription is प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो सफेयर एंड प्लस टू सिलेंडर एट द एक्सिस ऑफ नाइन्टी डिग्री सो दिस इज अ फाइनल प्रिस्क्रिप्शन एंड दिस इज हाउ यू कैन कन्वर्ट द क्रॉस इन टू द प्रिस्क्रिप्शन एज वेल सो दिस इज अबाउट टूडेज लेक्चर इन केस ऑफ एनी क्यूरी कमेंट इन कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच